guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different and share with you guys what I scored free for my birthday this year. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My birthday is January 17th, so it was last month and I was able to get a whole bunch of stuff for free without having to spend a dime. <laughs> for my birthday. And so I figured since my birthday is so early in the year, I would let everyone else know what I got in case you want to get this as well. So about a week or two before my birthday at the beginning of January, I figured it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and download like apps for restaurants and places like near me that I already didn't have on my phone already and set up an account put in my birthday just to see if they would offer me any type of freebie for my birthday this year. So this year, what I noticed and what I've have seen in the past is there's kind of like two different categories, maybe three, of different things you can get for free on your birthday. So one is like this location or store gives you just some item for free with no strings attached. You don't have to purchase anything. Those are the kind of things that I kind of gravitate towards because I just want to get the thing for free. I don't want to spend money and be like, well, if I just didn't come here at all, I would have not spent this money. And yeah, I wouldn't got the free thing, but like really it's more like a, I'm getting a discount on this free thing because I'm spending money on something else. So those are the items that I kind of focused on this year. There are some places that, like I said, say you get this item for free with some minimum valued purchase. And those are the ones that I'm just kind of like, eh, if I'm in the area and I'm in the mood for that type of, you know, additional purchase, then I'll get it. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go pick up this thing if I have to go ahead and spend money as well. And then the third little category that kind of I noticed was just kind of like a percent off or kind of um, a point incentive if they do a point system on their app. Some other thing that like just rewards you financially in some sense to purchase items from that location. So I don't know, you know, what kind of shopper you might be. You might fall under all those categories and be like, yeah, I, ju I just want it all. You know, I don't care if I'm going to spend the extra money, I'm going to get the free things. Or if you're kind of more like me and gravitate towards just the, I just want it for free with no strings attached type of stuff. But let's go ahead and talk about what I got this year for my birthday. So if you know me, you know that I love Starbucks. So of course I had to go to Starbucks on my actual birthday because that's the only day that they give you an item for free and I actually picked out the grilled cheese that they offer I think it is super delicious and I've actually started making it at home because the only time I really get it at Starbucks is on my birthday so at Starbucks you either get a free drink or a free food item and the particular food item that I got is a 300 star purchase if I want to get it for free using my like stars in my account. But I've done the math and it's not worth spending 300 stars because I can spend the equivalent number of stars and save a whole bunch more money with my drink concoction that I've shared on a previous video on how to like save money and order your Starbucks in a way that's a lot cheaper than getting the actual drink that you would have normally got. So that being said, since I don't want to spend the stars on this item and I don't want to pay like $7 for a grilled cheese, that's what I got on my birthday for free at Starbucks. And then I just went ahead and ordered my drink in my cheap little way and enjoyed that as well. If you watched one of my other videos, you noticed that I went through the Panera drive through on like a get it all done video or something. And I picked up my free cookie. So the deal that Panera offered me, I don't know if it's different from account to account, but I got like $3 off a of purchase. And so while that didn't quite fall under the like just free item category, I was able to order a $2.99 cookie for free. There was no tax with it. So I just, you know, ordered my little lemon cookie for $2.99 and I got it completely free at Panera. The next thing that I got for free was three Krispy Kreme original glazed donuts. And while that was still a very delicious and fun little birthday treat, I didn't have to get it on my actual birthday, which was nice. 
and I didn't have to buy anything, you know, on top of that. The one disappointing thing, at least this year, was seeing how much it changed from last year. So last year, I got a whole dozen original glazed donuts for free in my birthday month with nothing to do. Like I didn't have to spend any money at Krispy Kreme, even in the previous year, to get this free dozen donuts. And this year it was just three donuts. So they really slimmed down that birthday reward because, you know, three donuts, like I said, for one person, especially if you don't have like kids to share a dozen donuts with or things like that, a dozen donuts can be a lot. Even three donuts, you know, is like a reasonable amount. Although Krispy Kreme, you can really scarf down because they're so yummy. But, you know, it was a definitely a big change from last year, but still free and very delicious. One of the other items that I got for free for my birthday was a coffee bean drink. Now this one isn't, I would say, completely free. It was completely free the day that I got it, but I did need to make a purchase at Coffee Bean within like a time frame before my birthday. So I hadn't purchased a drink from them for many months and it was kind of like, let me make sure you're still one of our customers so that you can get your birthday reward. So I did have to go get a drink like the week before which was fine. I just, instead of getting Starbucks, I got coffee bean with my kids on an outing and it was all good, but I did need to make a purchase, but it was coffee. So I was willing to spend that money. Another item that I got completely for free was a dessert at Chick-fil-A. I chose to get a chocolate milkshake because that is like one of my favorite desserts. And I think price wise, one of the better options to choose from if you're trying to get the most for your freeness, you know, like the most expensive item for your birthday. You could have gotten, I think, like a chocolate chip cookie or some other type of treat, but I chose the chocolate milkshake. One of my favorite things to get for my birthday, you know, freebies is a nothing bunt cake, little like buntlet. It's one of the like good personal sized ones, not super mini or anything like that. You go in, you show them your email that you, that you get from them and you get to pick out whatever flavor you want and it's completely free. I haven't made a purchase there, like, I don't know if I've ever really made a purchase at Nothing But Cakes, but I get my freebie every year and I'm very thankful that they offer it. McDonald's is another place where you can get something just completely for free for your birthday. They did have a few options to choose from. I think I went ahead and got like some just french fries for the kids and I to share. And as far as I know, you don't need to make like a purchase in advance or anything like that. So that was a fun little outing that the kids and I had. I don't know if you guys have a Jersey Mike's near you, but they do offer like a birthday they incentive they give you points to your account that is equivalent to redeeming a free like regular sub and I actually hadn't cashed in my birthday like sub points for the last like three years so I had enough points in my account just from my birthdays alone to get like three like I, I want to say they were probably around 12 inches um three big regular subs and it's very filling. It was very yummy, especially I think when anything's free, it just tastes better in my opinion, but they give you points that you can then redeem for some type of reward. And in this case, you can get a free sub. And again, with that, I didn't have to spend anything. I just had points from my three previous birthdays just stocked up in my account that I finally cashed out on. And the last thing that I've done so far, some of my birthday rewards haven't even like expired yet but I did go to Subway they offer just a free cookie this is one that I actually signed up for like a couple weeks before my birthday and so I was happily surprised that even by creating an account just two weeks before my birthday I still qualified for like a birthday reward and I got a free cookie after I brought Aubrey to gymnastics one night so those are all of the things that I already have received and enjoyed for my birthday freebies, but I did get a whole bunch of emails offering me other rewards. And these kind of fall under the category of like with a purchase or something like that, where you know you kind of have to do something else to get the freebie item. Or in my case, like maybe it was just too far away or an inconvenient like time where it's like you have to go actually on your birthday and I don't want to go a billion places, you know, dragging my kids along just to go spend money on something to get something else for free. So here's some of the options. So IHOP would have offered me a free birthday pancake. 
Um, like I said, here bringing my kids, because my birthday was on a Wednesday, bringing them to an IHOP to get one pancake, whether or not I had to make another purchase, it just didn't seem realistic or appealing to me to go and get that freebie item. Bringing them in a restaurant is just stressful and I've never done it by myself. So that one I could pass on. I could make my own pancake and I don't even know where the nearest one to us is it was probably gonna be a little bit more of a drive and just not worth it to me. I was a little disappointed with Dunkin' Donuts. So in the past, I wanna say they've got like either a free donut on your birthday or a free drink, but this year they're just saying, you get three times as many points if you purchase, you know, whatever, purchase something on your birthday or maybe in the days that surround it. And, you know, that was just like, well, I'm not getting anything for free. I'm just getting extra points and I would have rather gone to Starbucks and gotten my free drink or free something there. So I just kind of passed on the Dunkin' offer. If they bring something back, I'll let you guys know in a future year, you know, but uh, for now it was just three times as many points. Panda Express was offering like a free, either like side or small entree, something like that. And you had to purchase something as well. So again, this was something that I was just like, well, I'm not gonna go out of my way to go there because they're just encouraging me to spend even more money and I'll just get some other freebies for my birthday instead. I'm not really sure if Taco Bell sent me anything for my birthday because they, you know, they have you put your birthday in when you're making an account. I did get a welcome gift. So you could kind of treat that as a birthday gift if you are signing up for, you know, their account near your birthday and creating an account. You should get a welcome gift and treat that as like a birthday freebie. But I don't remember them like explicitly saying, happy birthday, here's a freebie. So I don't really know if that qualifies, but you can get something for free if you sign up for the Taco Bell app. At Chipotle, they offered me free guacamole with a minimum purchase of $5, so that's not too bad, but again, Chipotle isn't really a place that I go to frequently. If it was, then I'd be like, okay, I'll just cash this out, but I'd have to go out of my way to go there, probably bring the kids, and so it's just something that I passed on this year. Cinnabon, which I absolutely love, um, is a little far away from me and I kind of missed going there to claim my free small iced cold brew. They do also send a welcome gift. So if you are signing up for the Cinnabon app, you can get that welcome gift and this birthday freebie as well. But you know, unfortunately we don't have one like really close to us and I wasn't gonna drag the kids to, you know, the mall that it's in all by myself to go get a coffee when I can go to Starbucks nearby and use some of the stars that I've been earning. One place that does offer just a freebie item, no purchase necessary is La Madeline's, although they don't have one near us. I have an account because there was one in El Paso when we were stationed there. So I always made sure to go in and get my free bakery item for my birthday. And I could have gotten one this year if there was one near us in California, but there is not. Texas Roadhouse is something that we were exposed to in Texas, and then we were happy to see that they had one near us in California. They're offering a free appetizer or sidekick with a purchase. So again, this is like a restaurant. I'm not gonna bring my kids there to go get a free appetizer or sidekick with spending even more money. It would just be too stressful. So that was something that we passed on this year. If you are signed up with Target and have like the Target app and you're in the Target circle or whatever, they give you 5% off a in-store or online purchase. So that is something that I, you know, I don't shop there too often. And, you know, I think it's still probably good. Possibly, I think it's still on my account. So I could still go maybe order something online, get more diapers for the kids or something, but I haven't done that yet. So that is in my haven't done yet list. At Red Lobster, you can get a free slice of cake. And I don't think that there's a purchase necessary uh, in order to qualify. And I think mine still hasn't expired. So if there is a Red Lobster near me, I don't know where it is, but I might just do like an order to go and like, you know, pull up, pick it up and leave and just get my slice of cake. And the last place that I'm aware of is Denny's with their free breakfast. Now, 
Again, this is kind of similar to IHOP, like it was gonna be completely free at Denny's, I believe, but I'd have to bring my kids in and that just sounded way too stressful. I, that one is more like probably filling than the IHOP one because the IHOP is just like a pancake and the Denny's is I think a grand slam. So it's, you know, more stuff to split with me amongst the kids. But like I said, me and restaurants and kids by myself just sounds too stressful. And so I'd rather just not go get the freebie there. And for a bonus birthday item that I forgot to mention when I was sitting down and filming was that you can go to Olive Garden and get a freebie there, but you do need to make a purchase. But that wraps up my list of things that I either did or chose not to get for free for my birthday. If you guys know of any other places that are like, you definitely get something for free, whether there's a purchase included or net, you know, needed or not, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I'm, I'm always looking for free stuff. You know, uh, it's one of my joys in life, <laughs> especially in the month of my birthday. And so let me know, let everyone else in this little community know so that they too can score some free stuff on their birthday, probably this year, unless you're like me with a January birthday. Don't forget to like this video. And if you guys are new and like motherhood content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and check out all of my other content. I recently did a party prep video for my son's second birthday and we did like a party clean with me video. So there's a lot of fun stuff here and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.